Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to So today we are going to go over pre-pooing and the benefits of certain oils to use in your hair. They're great for hydration and so basically let's get into it. This is what my hair is looking like now. It's super dry. Um, I was just traveling and I initially was going to braid my hair. And so I didn't bring anything, no hair products because whatever. But um, so I ended up just using the hotel <laughs> conditioner to co-wash my hair. Don't suggest that. So yeah, I didn't add any products. Um, I didn't do anything to it. I just left it out the first day and it was nice and afro-y, but now it's super dry and you see, I don't know if you can see the flakes coming out, but this is what my hair currently looks like. So basically we're going to go in and just co-poo it and basically the benefits of co-pooing your hair is just um, getting, adding back that moisture and just making it easier, a little bit more easier to detangle your hair before you shampoo or condition. I like to co-wash or shampoo or co-wash, I should say. Um, so um, the oils that I'm going to use, I'm going to use extra vinegar olive oil. And I did, I didn't do a video. Did I do a video on my Instagram? I don't remember. But basically, if you follow Hair Secure, they go over um, the differences between certain oils at your local hair supply store, grocery store, wherever you buy your hair care stuff. And they basically review um, or they talk about the oils that you should be buying and reading the ingredients in the oils that you're buying. So for example, a tip would be if it's good, if you can eat it, you should be able to put it in your hair. So for example, like this extra vinegar um, olive oil, it's the only ingredient within here. So this is, there's no extra added this, 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 and that. This is straight olive oil. And a tip is you can probably go down <clears throat> the food aisle. It's probably cheaper down the food aisle versus the hair aisle. Like, for example, at Target, where I got this one from, it'll probably be cheaper down the food aisle versus the hair aisle. So I'm going to go in with extra olive oil. And then I have black castor oil. We already know the benefits of the, extra, the castor oil. And the same thing, there's no added, where are the ingredients? There's no added um, ingredients in this. So, <clears throat> I usually do coconut oil as well. Um, I, I'm going to link the original girl I heard these tips from. She did a really good job with explaining this. And ever since I watched that, I want to say a year or two ago, um, I've been using this routine and it's really helped my curls and um, my hydration with my hair. So shout out to you, boo. I don't remember your name or your channel, but I'm definitely going to add you below. Um, so yeah, so I would use coconut oil, but I don't have any right now. So I would start by going in with coconut oil. I would follow up with my olive oil and then I would do my castor oil. And so first you want to do, well, if your hair is dry, if you haven't already showered or whatever the case may be, if your hair is not wet, you just want to start by wetting your hair, obviously, so that you can add the oils in and it's going to loosen your hair up so that you can detangle it. Uh, so, you just want to start by getting your hair a little wet and make sure you're sectioning your hair, obviously. Hair Secured also has some sectioning clips. Um, with water, if it's not filter water and you're using it straight from your faucet, I would highly suggest either boiling the water and then letting it cool for two to three hours prior to spraying it if you're not going to get in the shower. I mean, the shower is the same thing, but you can't, obviously you can't do much with the shower unless you have a filter shower head. <clears throat> but if you're going to be spraying water, I would just buy a big, um, a big spray bottle and then just keep water in here at all times so that it's sitting. So with filtered water, there's chlorine in it and you want to avoid all those extra harmful chemicals when you're adding it, drinking it, whatever the case may be. So if you're not drinking filtered water, I highly wouldn't suggest putting it in your hair. It's the same concept. Um, so like I said, you either want to boil it for two hours just to burn all the chlorine and extra non things we don't like or let it sit for 24 hours. A lot of plant babes, I learned that from plant babes. They said, you know, you should let your water sit or boil it before you water your plants. So we're watering our hair and we're neutralizing our hair. So we need to make sure we're putting 
what it is we need in our hair. So that's that. So I'm just gonna start by parting my hair. And I'm just gonna section it and then I'm go one side at a time spraying it. <clears throat> so this is me pre-pooing my hair. Getting ready for a co-wash. And these sectioning clips are lifesavers. I absolutely live by them. All right, so I did one side already because I just wanted to sh get it out the way and not have you guys just staring at me. But I just wanted to show you the difference between, I don't know if you can really tell. Sorry, I'm like trying to look in my mirror, but I'm trying to, um, oh, I want to see if you can tell the difference between the moisturized side versus the dry side. So I did this side already and here's my dry side. And so now I'm just going to go back and finish this side. I would say that sectioning and or parting um, your hair makes it easier, especially if your hair is super dry and super um, tangled. Um, and water. So let's get into the side. pre-poo or here is how I pre-poo my hair um, and or how I do a nice moisturizing mask for my hair um, and as I said in the beginning I didn't use coconut oil I typically would use coconut oil um, to begin with you can use grapeseed oil coconut oil all there's a lot of oils you can do this treatment with. Um, so don't limit yourself. Hair Secure has a great list. They just posted the other day. Today's January 12th, I believe. They just posted the other day. Um, I'll link it below on some good hair growth oils. And so yeah, so um, it's about 3.30 now. I'm going to let this sit, if I don't let it sit overnight. Because if I'm too lazy later, um, I'm gonna let this sit for about two hours, um, and then I'm going to do a co-wash depending on how much oil and how yucky my hair is. I may shampoo it, but for the most part, I'm going to co-wash it, um, and then we will go over mix-ups. All right, y'all. So it's been a minute since um, we last spoke. Not a minute, but maybe a day and a half. Um, so, just life. I got caught up with life and there's too much happening. Um, but I'm back in the gym. So, there's that. Um, so, I think it's been a day and a half. So, my hair obviously is not giving the shine that it needs to, but it's still super, super oily um, from the olive oil. And so, um, we're just gonna go in. And I'm gonna co-wash, not gonna shampoo because my hair is not all that dirty. So I'm just gonna go in using the Taraji P. Henson's Make It Rain um, Hydration Rich Conditioner. And then I'm also gonna use her scalp conditioner. Yeah, I know I live, 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 live by her scalp treatments. Like, you just gotta try it. <clears throat> and I'm literally almost, I wish you guys could feel like how much left of her conditioner that I have. I mean, it is small, but this is really good. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go in, rinse the oils out. Um, actually probably, I am gonna shampoo a little bit. I'm gonna shampoo once. Um, gonna shampoo once just to get the oils out of my hair. And then I'm just gonna go in with my conditioners and then I'll show you guys next steps. Okay. All right guys, so we are fresh out of washing, co-washing. Here's what we're looking like. I like how she looks. She's cute. She's cute. 
Wave check. We are past from length. We're past from length, period. So now for the fun pods. So check it. We are going to now add back in some moisture and seal it in with some oil. So we're gonna be using the Palmer's Leave-In Conditioner. And then I'm gonna top it off with some black castor oil, just a little bit. And then also some vitamin E oil. It's just from Trader Joe's, but it the only active ingredient is um, soybean oil and vitamin E and coconut oil. So it's kind of kind of a mixture. Um, oh, well it does this vitamin C oil blend. So if you happen to get vitamin E oil from Trader Joe's and you're just looking for vitamin E, make sure you read. So actually, no, let's go in with our leave-in. All right, and all we're gonna do is, cause my hair is still a little damped. Which is good, it's what we want. I still have a little oil on my edges, but that's fine. All right, so we're just gonna go in with our leave-in, making sure we're spraying all over. Look at that shine. We're gonna take a wide tooth comb, or you can use your fingers. Um, I don't have time to sit here and play with my hair, my fingers. So look at that, my hair is not even all that detangled. Okay, so perfect. And now I just go in with my castor oil. And I'm just gonna work it through my ends. And then a little on my roots. Nice root massage. Okay. And now for the last step, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little of the vitamin E oil just to seal all that moisture I just put in my hair in. Make sure you're not just throwing it on your hair, make sure you're actually like rubbing it together. So it's not it's not making your hair all greasy or thick. All right, so now I'm just gonna begin twisting my hair. And then when I get to the very end, I just like to put more castor oil on my hand just to seal my ends, make sure they're not hanging out. If you're not a fan of castor oil, you really don't have to use a lot. Um, and you can kind of dilute it within the water, but I promise you, if you do add the castor oils to your ends, once you take it out, they're gonna be beautiful. All right, so yeah, so now I'm just gonna finish going around the, my entire head, and then we'll go into whatever else. <laughs> All right, so here we go. That's it for my uh, pre-poo. That's it for my pre-poo, um, my hydrating mask, and co-washing. Oh, I didn't show you guys my co-washing, but well, that's, that's for another day. Um, so yeah, I would highly suggest co-pooing, pre-pooing, co-washing, and making sure your hair stays hydrated. That is how my hair has obtained length and value and um, texture, not texture, pattern 
don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so just make sure you guys are keeping up with your hair, doing everything you need to do. Make sure you stay secure per usual as always. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe this video and we'll see you next time when we release another video. Thanks, bye.